Welcome back guys. Uh, so in the previous video, we have created the database and the table successfully. And you can see on the left hand side, we have our database uh, database is available. Uh, and if we have multiple database, as soon as we change the database, uh, we're going to see the tables and the views. They're going to be uh, they're going to be uh, changed automatically depending upon which database we are in, right? So that is all cataloging information. We are keeping the 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 uh, the uh, 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 reference about our uh, database objects. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, we have already seen it. It, has, it is not created within the Athena environment. Uh, the whole uh, uh, setup has been done within the clue and it is only from the metadata perspective, right? The data is still sitting within the S3 environment or wherever that data is sitting. We are just creating the, the, the schema information and a couple of additional information information that will help uh, Athena to, to locate the data and uh, pull that data from, from its original location once we issue the query. So in this video, we're going to start issuing the query. And uh, before I uh, move on towards the query part, let me see if I can close any of the, uh, I think I can close this tab. Let me just close this tab. Query and it here. Yeah, I'm happy to close this query. And now what I'm going to do, uh, let me change because that's my database. So in this uh, in this step, I think we can start with the the, the total count of the records. But uh, in order to before we uh, uh, hit this query, let me just show you if you just want to uh, have a quick peek on on your data, uh, you can do a preview table. And what it's gonna do is gonna uh, show you the um, the maybe some uh, first uh, thousand records. Let's see, oh the first ten records, right? Uh, and if we just run it, uh, uh, it's already uh, uh, run, right? Instead, uh, besides putting the the query, it also execute the query. So you can see uh, the the first uh, ten records are uh, coming. And one thing we have noticed that we are also getting the header in the in the first row as part of the uh, the the records. So right? we can later on fix it. That we'll see if we can provide the information that our first row is not the is not the data. It's going to be header. But at this stage, what I can let me see. How about if we can see how many records we have? Where we have, we have the the first row, right? That's going to be so that that's the starting point. You can start uh, interacting with Athena uh, by previewing it, and it will give you the 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 general select statement, which is a very simple select statement. And now we can enhance it. So let's see if we can say where the first name is equal to. first is it the first and a uh, space name right so first name let's see if it can pick up and tell us how many records we are getting as a all right, so that makes sense. Uh, and that was my suspicion as well, because uh, in each while, uh, the, the first row has the header column. And obviously, once uh, Athena uh, uh, get the data from, from all the file, it ignore the, because it's, we haven't mentioned that ignore the first uh, uh, row, it's treating all the rows as a, um, as a data, uh, uh, as a data uh, uh, column, right? So obviously, we're going to see how we can exclude the, the first row. Uh, once we load the data into into our uh, 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 into our uh, Athena, uh, uh, not load. Once we get the data from from the Athena uh, query engine. All right. So we'll see how we can fix it. But at this stage, I think I'm good because what I'm going to do. I can safely exclude uh, these records and then. We'll see what we're gonna get. So the 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 method is simple. Uh, generally, once we exclude the records, and if we have a, a similar pattern, it's going to be pretty smooth. Like all the rows where we have the first name column has the value of first space name. We know that that's not going to be a legitimate row, so we can simply exclude it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to either do this not uh, and it will bring all the all the records or i can also use the not equal sign right whichever works for you you can go with, with that right so let's run 
this command and see whether we are going to get our data. Yeah, so we are going to get the rows and now we don't have any, it's just getting the the, the top 10 rows for, for us. Uh, and we can see uh, we have, uh, so, okay, one thing we have noticed, the, this information is not coming uh, for somehow, maybe there is some problem in the in the in the data to to fix it all right we'll see it uh, in the in the later videos that how we can fix that the good thing at least we have the the uh, uh, the information uh, uh, coming but obviously it's not coming in a right shape and that's where the whole staging environment uh, work uh, 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 is where we fix our data issues. And then once the data is qualified, we load it into, into the final stage, which can be another output bucket where we can uh, provide uh, the uh, maybe summarize information or the clean information for, for, the, uh, for the processing, right? All right, so I think we are pretty good at this stage. How about if I just, you know, uh, if I just, just want to see what I'm going to get now. Yeah, so I can see there, there is some problem in the CSV file that we have loaded uh, because it's not it's not properly rendering to to the to the column and uh, one thing i've just noticed like there is uh, double quotes we generally use to to indicate there is a string value and you can see that value is keep going all the way or maybe there's a character which is splitting the the value into a separate row right so could be many reasons. We will see how we can how we can uh, fix that that issue in the later video. All right. So now if I come in here, let me just see how about if we can count the the total number of rows. I don't need their limit. Total and let me see. So we have three uh, uh, 30,000 rows all together in, in all these CSV files, right? So let me quickly show you back. We have a bunch of CSV files that has been uh, that have been sitting into, into our bucket under the customer folder. And once we run the query, you can imagine we are running the query and queries are more like following the SQL syntax, but they are interacting with the data that is sitting within the CSV format. So it literally, you know, go and read the the uh, the information uh, from, from these, these rows, right? Uh, and one thing, if you have seen in, in here that the rows has already been splitted into, into multiple lines, and that's where the the issue is so i think we need to fix that issue first that it can uh it can consider it as a full row instead of you know uh as a, as a separate row which we'll we'll do uh, uh shortly right so and now you can run as many queries as you can against your data the data is pretty small so it's not gonna cost you a lot but now you can see how we use the athena to interact with with the uh, the data lake uh, to to um, uh, to query the data like we normally do in our sql table and then uh, we can use this table for uh, for our dashboarding as well. So you can imagine the data is sitting uh, in its original location, and we are using that data uh, through the Athena uh, uh, without you know changing or without uh, uh, doing any additional processing. So that that's where Athena really shine provide you the SQL capabilities on on the data lake. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any question, please feel free. Please feel free to put in the comments, happy to answer. Otherwise, stay tuned. We have still a lot to go on for, for fixing the data issue as well as the uh, PySpark, which I'm going to show you in the upcoming video, how we can use the notebook environment generally, we uh, which we normally do within within the, the data bricks. So how you can replicate the same environment and same working within the AWS Athena. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.